What's going on, Sheep's Kingdom? Well, what a terrific performance tonight in a frigid, cool game. As this was a record setting game, it was the coldest game in Sheep's history, coldest game ever played at Arrowhead Stadium, and the fourth coldest game in terms of the temperature at kickoff in NFL history. Uh, as the temperature at kickoff in this game was at negative three degrees uh, and yeah so it was just frigid frigid cold and yeah we're able to shut down uh, a high scoring Dolphins team for the second time this year and yeah we just dominated this team this this game rather and uh Tyreek Hill uh in his return to Arrowhead was held to under a hundred yards receiving uh and just like when we first played Miami back in week nine in Germany we held Tyreek to under a hundred yards and we do it again. So just a terrific outing we would strike first in our opening series as Mahomes would find Rasheed Rice from 11 yards out to put us up 7 to nothing. Rice had just had an outstanding rookie season. And then the Dolphins would go 3 and out. Uh, and then as we would go 3 and out in our second series, and then Tua. An interception intercepted by Mike Edwards. Mike Edwards, of course, had a uh, fumble recovery for a touchdown in our season finale game last week at the Chargers. And then uh, we would then take a 10 to nothing lead, 28 yard field goal by Harrison Butker. And then the Dolphins' next series, uh, just two plays as Tua took a by low would throw 53 yards to Tyree Kill to make it 10 to 7. So Hill would score in his return to Arrowhead. And uh, then on our next series, we could have gone up uh, 17 to 7 if it was not for a uh, penalty on uh, Jawan Taylor, who's had uh, the most penalties. Uh, on, on him, led the league in that stat, not a stat that he wants to be in, but we would get another field would put us up thirteen to seven, and then, but we then make a thirty-two yard field would put us up twenty-six, or rather sixteen to seven, uh, at halftime, and then nineteen to seven, a twenty-one yarder, to put us up nineteen to seven, and then. Early in the fourth quarter, on a 14-play drive, uh, a direct snap, Isaiah Pacheco, a three-yard run, to put us up 26-7, and uh, Dolphins trying to convert on fourth and 16, uh, and incomplete, so we would then take over, and then again, the Dolphins down by three scores, but then would not convert. And fortunately, Clyde and Rutiler would then fumble the ball on third and seven, but it arguably would not matter as there is under uh, a little over a minute left. And yes, we'll get the win 26 to seven against the Dolphins team that was battling injuries, they had a number of players, key players, out with injury, and, yeah, and two, 199 yards, 20 of 39, their star running back, Pro Bowler Raheem Moster, just 33 yards rushing, and Devon Achan, just 9 yards rushing as well, so, and 130 yards receiving for Rasheed Rice, and, uh, 71 yards for Travis Kelsey, and a total of 10 tackles for Nick Bolton, and 
one and a half sacks for George Karloftis, also half a sack for Chris Jones. So, just an outstanding team effort, defense outstanding, and 14 points by Butker. So, uh, we do not know who will be who we will be facing next weekend in the divisional round. Uh, it'll either be the Houston Texans uh, or the Buffalo Bills. The Steelers Bills game, originally scheduled for tomorrow afternoon, was changed to Monday afternoon due to a severe, uh, heavy snowstorm in Buffalo. So they decided to move it to uh, Monday afternoon. And if the Bills win, then the Chiefs, we will travel to Buffalo. But if the Bills lose and the Steelers win, then the Houston Texans, who won today against the Browns, they would come to Arrowhead. So see what happens. And uh, I mean, the Bills seems like it'll probably be them. Don't really see the Steelers winning. Uh, so I mean, we'd face Josh Allen and the Bills again, but this time we'd be in Buffalo. So, but yes, we'll see what happens. So, till next week, trying to make another run to the Super Bowl. So, till then, next weekend, Comic Experts saying, Go Chiefs.